My soul is full of trouble, my life is at the brink of the grave. My soul is full of trouble, my life is at the brink of the grave. O Lord, my God, my Savior, by day and night I cry to you. My soul is full of trouble, my life is at the brink of the grave. Let my prayer enter into your presence, incline your ear to my lamentation. My soul is full of trouble, my life is at the brink of the grave. I am counted among those who go down to the pit. I have become like one who has no strength. My soul is full of trouble. My life is at the brink of the grave. Lost among the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave. My soul is full of trouble. My life is at the brink of the grave. Let us pray. O God, creator of heaven and earth, Grant that, as the crucified body of your dear Son was laid on the tomb and rested on this holy Sabbath, so we may await with him the coming of the third day and rise with him to newness of life, who now lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A lesson from the book of Job. Job said, a mortal, born of woman, few of days and full of trouble, comes up like a flower and withers, flees like a shadow and does not last. Do you fix your eyes on such a one? Do you bring me into judgment with you? Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? No one can. Since their days are determined, and the number of their mouths is known to you, months is known to you, and you have appointed the bounds that they cannot pass, look away from them and desist, that they may enjoy, like laborers, their days. For there is hope for a tree, if it is cut down, that it will sprout again, and that its shoots will not cease though its root grows old in the earth, and its stump dies in the ground. Yet, at the scent of water it will bud and put forth branches like a young plant. But mortals die and are laid low, humans expire, and where are they? As waters fail from a lake, and the river wastes away and dries up, so mortals lie down and do not rise again. Until the heavens are no more, they will not awake or be roused out of their sleep. Oh, that you would hide me in shawl, that you would conceal me until your wrath is past, that you would appoint me in a set time and remember me. If mortals die, will they live again? All the days of my service I would wait until my release should come. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Father, into, into your, your hands, hands I commend my spirit. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Father, into, into your, your hands, hands I commend my spirit. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to help me or deliver me. Father, Father into, into your hands, hands I commend my spirit. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my power of strength. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Make your face to shine upon your servants and in your loving kindness, save me. Father, into your hands I command my spirit. A reading from the first epistle of Peter. Since Christ suffered in the flesh, arm yourselves also with the same intention. For whoever has suffered in the flesh has finished with sin so as to live for the rest of your earthly life, 
no longer by human desires, but by the will of God. You have already spent enough time in doing what the Gentiles like to do, living in licentiousness, passions, drunkenness, revels, carousing, and lawless idolatry. They are surprised that you no longer join them in the same excesses of dissipation, and so they blaspheme. But they will have to give an accounting to him who stands ready to judge the living and the dead. For this is the reason the gospel was proclaimed even to the dead, so that though they had been judged in the flesh as everyone is judged, they might live in the spirit as God does. The end of all things is near. Therefore, be serious and discipline yourselves for the sake of your prayers. Above all, maintain constant love for one another, for love covers a multitude of sins. Out of the depths have I called to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears consider well the voice of my supplication. If you, Lord, were to note what is done amiss, O Lord, who could stand? For there is forgiveness with you, therefore you shall be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits for him, in his word is my hope. My soul waits for the Lord, more than watchman for the morning, more than watchman for the morning. O Israel, wait for the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy. With him there is plenteous redemption. And he shall redeem Israel from all their sins. The conclusion of the Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea, named Joseph, who was also a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. So Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn in the rock. He then rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb and went away. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were there, sitting opposite the tomb. The next day, that is, after the day of preparation, the chief priests and the Pharisees gathered before Pilate and said, Sir, we remember what that imposter said while he was still alive, after three days I will rise again. Therefore, command the tomb to be made secure until the third day. Otherwise, his disciples may go and steal him away and tell the people he has been raised from the dead, and the last deception would be worse than the first. Pilate said to them, You have a guard of soldiers. Go, make it as secure as you can. So they went with the guard and made the tomb secure by sealing the stone. A fearful and marvelous mystery is today beheld being accomplished. The incorporeal is conquered. He who frees Adam from the curse is bound. He who tries the hearts and reins of men is unjustly tried by them. He who shut the abyss is shut up in prison. He before whom the powers of heaven stand with trembling stands before Pilate. The fashioner is smitten by the hand of him whom he fashioned. He is adjudged to the tree of the cross, who judges the quick and the dead. He is shut up in the tomb, who is the purger of hell. O thou, who with compassion didst endure all things, and hast saved all from the curse, most patient Lord, glory to thee. Glory, glory be to thy cross, O Christ. Christ and to thy resurrection. When thou, the Redeemer of all, hadst been laid for all in the new tomb, hell, the respecter of none, saw thee and crouched in fear. The bars broke, the gates were shattered, the graves were opened, the dead arose. Then Adam, thankfully rejoicing, cried out to thee, Glory to thy humiliation, O merciful Master. Glory be to thy cross, O Christ, and to thy resurrection. 
when thou, the deathless light, didst come down to them, then didst thou destroy hell with the dazzling brightness of the Godhead. And when thou didst raise up the dead from the abyss, all the powers of heaven cried aloud, Christ our God, giver of life, glory to thee. Glory be to thy cross, O Christ, and to thy resurrection. Creation was moved with intense astonishment when it beheld thee hung in Golgotha. Thou, who didst hang all the earth free in the midst of the waters, wherefore it cried, None is holy except thee, O Lord. He who closed up the abyss is seen as dead, and wrapped in linen and spices. He, the immortal, as mortal is laid in the tomb, O Lord, creator of the world and conqueror of death. Glory be to thee. Glory be to thy cross, O Christ, and to thy resurrection. Today the grave holds him who holds creation in the hollow of his hand. A stone covers him who covers the heavens with virtue. Life sleeps, and hell trembles, and Adam is set free from his bonds. Glory to thy dispensation, O Lord, through which, when all things were accomplished, thou hast presented to us an eternal rest, even thy most holy resurrection from the dead. Glory be to thy cross, O Christ, and to thy resurrection. The great Moses mystically foreshadowed this day, saying, And God blessed the seventh day. This is the blessed Sabbath. It is the day of rest. And on it, the only begotten Son of God rested from all his works. Through the dispensation of death, in the flesh, he rested. Joseph begged the body of Jesus and laid it in his own new tomb, for it behooved him to pass from the grave as from a bridal chamber. O thou who hast destroyed the power of death, and to mankind hast opened the gates of paradise, glory to thee. Glory be to thy cross, O Christ, and to thy resurrection. Most blessed art thou, O Virgin Mother of God, for through him who was incarnate from thee, hell was made captive, the curse was annulled, Eve was set free, death was put to death, and we are endued with life. Wherefore we cry, Blessed art thou, O Christ our God, who did so will, glory to thee. Glory, glory be to, to thy Christ, Christ, O Christ, Christ, and to thy Christ. resurrection. Holy God, holy mighty, holy and mortal, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy and mortal, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy, holy mighty, holy, holy and mortal, have mercy upon us. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Today hell cried out, groaning, what that I had not received him who was born of Mary, for he came to me and broke my power. He shattered the gates of brass, and as God raised up the souls which before I had held. O oh, praise, praise the, the Lord, Lord, all ye heathen. Praise him, all ye nations. Today hell cried out, groaning, My authority has been broken down. I received one dead as one of the mortals, but against this one I prevailed not. I perish with him and with those I had ruled. From eternity I had beheld the dead, but behold, he raiseth all. For his merciful kindness is ever more and more toward us, and the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Today hell cried out, groaning, My power has been trampled on, the shepherd has been crucified, and he raised up Adam. I have been deprived of those over whom I ruled, and all those I swallowed in my strength I have disgorged. He who is crucified has emptied the tombs, and the power of death avails not. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, on this day you rested in the tomb, and 
thereby sanctified the grave to be a bed of hope for your people. Make us so to abound in sorrow for our sins, that when our mortal natures rest in dust, we may put on the immortality of your glorious resurrection. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. In the midst of life, we are in death. Of whom may we seek for succor, but of thee, O Lord, who for our sins are justly displeased. Yet, O Lord God most holy, O Lord most mighty, O holy and most merciful Savior, deliver us not into the bitter pains of eternal death. Thou knowest, O Lord, the secrets of our hearts. Shut not thy merciful ears to our prayer, but spare us, Lord most holy, O God most mighty, O holy and merciful Savior, thou most worthy judge eternal, suffer us not at our last hour through any pains of death to fall from thee. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.